Our early initiatives into sustainability started actually around 2007. And one of the uh, personal stories for me has been surfing with my son. One of the days we surfed together, I was uh, noticing this unusual foam that was on the water. And I said to myself, you know, this is, this is really nasty. This is pollution. This is something that we need to do something about. And it really starts with an individual journey. And I think that's how each one of us can begin to look at building and making a difference. So when we started out on our sustainability initiatives back in 2007, there really wasn't um, a, a, a system in place that actually really evaluated and measured companies' carbon footprint. That changed dramatically most recently with B certification. What we love about B certification is that it gives us an opportunity to not just to look at the areas of carbon reduction, but also what we do as a business, how we act towards our employees, how we work with our communities, and we think that suppliers like us have a role in this area. We clearly looked at three areas of the business that we could have an impact on. The first was air, the second was water, and the last was land. Being in Southern California, you know, everybody drives, right? Unfortunately, with that came a lot of pollution and most of it coming from vehicles and uh, gas emissions. What we saw was that our employees were really interested in this, so we decided we'd incentivize them and put in electrical charging stations in the, in the company. And it's been a great success. Many of our employees have taken us up on these programs, and we feel like we're making a difference, which is really critical. The other area that we looked at was water. California has suffered a drought for many, many years. The City of Industry initiated a wonderful recycled water program, which we took advantage of. We have water uh, uh, filtration systems throughout the business, and that's another way where we can hopefully minimize some of the carbon footprint. We look at land and how does that affect our business. We work with fruit growers and processors, and a lot of what they get could be ugly fruit, for example, which is left typically on the vine and actually creates carbon. And by us finding a home for that fruit, it gives us an opportunity to be part of a much broader story around sustainability. And it also provides an opportunity to build a circular economy. The most important area that we find most recently is, is the issues around diversity and how our company can make a difference on a purpose-led initiative around suppliers that we work with. And one of the areas that we identified was vanilla. And we were really interested in looking at Africa, particularly uh, outside of Madagascar, to see if we could do something that could have a real social impact, both with farmers, as well as a new narrative around quality. We partnered with a wonderful company that is, uh, is very much a social enterprise in that they were set up specifically to help support and re-engage farm communities on vanilla. What's so beautiful about this company is they're really teaching these farmers how to grow and how to cure and really building something of great sustainable value to their families, but also an unheralded quality of vanilla that I've never seen in over 30 years. And we're really excited about that quality, but more importantly, we're also really excited about the impact we're gonna have with these farmers and these families and these communities in Africa. And the last part about this wonderful story that we're building with, with uh, NEI is that we're gonna be donating a percentage of the proceeds of our sales on vanilla to African Wildlife Foundation, AWF, the premier organization for conserving wildlife in Africa. We're gonna have a direct impact on preventing poaching of elephants, as well as rhinos. You've got a lot of these parks that don't have the funds and they don't have the ability to fight off some of these poachers. And so by bringing in a new revenue stream, we think that that'll have a very, very important sustainable impact and a, a conservation of the wildlife going forward. You know, when we look back I really believe that Blue Pacific will have made a very important difference and that our employees and their active participation, both in volunteerism and actions around sustainable initiatives, will have a significant impact. And hopefully we will see changes with our environment in the coming years. And we can see these beautiful beaches for our kids and hopefully our grandkids.